Hello everybody and welcome to Ship Analysis. In this series of videos I'll be taking you through everything you need to know about the new purchasable ships in Space Engineers. All ships are vanilla and can be found in trading stations in the game. These stations will only appear if you have the economy option enabled in your world. If you're feeling generous, please like and subscribe, and as always, enjoy. A common find at shipyards, the Ion Scout can be purchased for around 1 million space credits. For the price, you get a lightly armed, nippy little ship that uses arm thrust only and is battery powered. The name doesn't give us any clues as to who builds the ship, however it does share an aesthetic resemblance with the TT series of ships, so I assume it's produced by the same shipyard. The Ion Scout has quite a short, stylish appearance, with prominent aerodynamic bodywork such as the quad rear horizontal stabilizers and tapered thruster nacelles. It is a beautiful design, and why I would assume most people would buy one. The blue, white and black colour scheme hits the Space Engineer's feel perfectly and suits the craft very well. The Iron Scout features no power generation of its own. It's powered by a single, large battery exposed behind the cockpit. I don't see this as much of an issue as the ship has no life support, so long distance journeys are out of the question anyway. Ion propulsion is used exclusively with four forward thrusters, one downward thruster, and two in every other direction. This provides the Iron Scout with good forward acceleration, but it's a bit less manoeuvrable than hydrogen alternatives. An antenna, ore detector, and gyroscope are all mounted onto the tail, with a single landing gear below. For connecting to ships or stations, the Iron Scout has a single merge block on the ventral side. The Iron Scout is armed with a single Gatling gun, located under the cockpit, and it's fed by two small cargo containers on either side of the gun. As a scouting ship, the Iron Scout is bound to encounter some trigger happy individuals. For this purpose, its bow is thinly lined with heavy armour. This additional armour should be used to buy time for you to escape, not stay and fight. It's a scout, not a fighter, and will be outmaneuvered and shot down. If you manage to sneak up on an unprepared enemy, use the Gatling gun to remove turrets, thrusters or other key components before you're detected. Since the Iron Scout features an ore detector and an antenna, it can also be used to search for ore and resources, making it a good multi-purpose scout. I recommend deploying the craft with a logistical frigate. It will allow the frigate to scout ahead without putting itself at risk. If you're going to use it as a scout in conjunction with a warship, I recommend up-arming the Iron Scout as it will probably need to be used as a fighter too at some point. It's hard to say if this ship is worth the price. For scouting, I believe hydrogen to be a better form of thrust as scouts need to be quick and agile. Also, you shouldn't be operating without a larger ship or base of some kind which probably has hydrogen on the tap. That being said, it is a good canvas to build off. With its beautiful design, I surely wouldn't mind having one. 